It doesn't get any more tension packed than this. The 2022 FIFA World Cup final. Who is going to come out on top? Stay with us. We'll have every kick of the ball for you live next on EA TV. Hello and welcome to a contest of colossal meaning. We find ourselves here just to the north of the Doha city centre, ahead of the 2022 World Cup final. My name is Derek Ray and with me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And as you can imagine on this occasion, the atmosphere is building up nicely. It's Argentina versus France. Well, what an occasion for these two sets of players. A chance to be world champions. Let's hope the game matches the atmosphere. It should be an absolute cracker. I can't wait for this to start. The Argentina first team. Emilio Martinez is the goalkeeper. Lionel Messi starts with Angel Di Maria on the flanks. And rather than use a strike partnership, they've gone with just the one player in attack. Here's the side France will go with. Hugo Lloris begins in goal. Dayo Upamecano plays alongside Rafael Varane in central defence. Kylian Mbappe plays with Ousmane Dembele out wide. And leading the line today, Olivier Giroud. And this confrontation is underway. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. Well, France are the holders. Not too many people doubted them coming into the tournament. And quite frankly, they've rubber-stamped their credentials. So watertight at the back, fluent in midfield, fearsome in attack. Can they be stopped? I'm not sure they can, Derek. I think they've been outstanding. They've done everything we expected them to. Some of their midfield performances have been excellent. And they've got goal scorers in the attacking areas. So I can see them winning the second World Cup on the bounce. They're a very, very good team. France should win this one. Messi. Can he find the net? And still danger here. And there it is. Living history. The opening goal of the 2022 World Cup final. Incredible celebrations. Well, here it is again. And the defending simply isn't good enough. They have to react quicker, deal with the danger and show more urgency. None of which they did. And that's the result. And France get the ball moving again. Can they come up with an answer here? Wonderful challenge and a throw in coming up. Superb defensive judgment to end the attack. Rodrigo de Paul. Otamendi has it. Alexis McAllister. Well, that's how to put in a clean tackle. 
Jihu. And he has options available. And that's a super ball over the top. Well, nothing comes of it in the end because the flag has gone up, Stuart. Well, he knew where the space was, but he's just been too eager, and that's why he's offside. Alexis McAllister. Just the challenge that was required. It's looking promising. Oh, the keeper made it look routine. It was anything but. They won't complain about having won the corner and maybe an opportunity to increase their advantage. Fired over by Messi. Oh, terrific save. Well, you're absolutely right. That's a top-class save. Just look how he reacts. Well, the short corner routine. Giving it a try crossbar and the danger is averted well they can all calm down now Derek they've got away with that one you have to say well had that gone in they would be in complete control of this game as it is they're still going to be a bit nervy yes so near indeed but now they've got to concentrate on keeping their defensive shape that's a foul and it will be a potentially dangerous free kick lacked a bit of conviction and straight into the wall well for good measure we can see it again but clearly not over the line there can be no debate over that decision <laughs> well they fancy a short one convincing defensively what a block breaking at pace and it looked like open road for them but up a dead end and on the back of that particular challenge will the referee let the matter rest there Well, the card is out, and it's yellow. Yeah, it's clumsy, and it's late. Definitely a yellow card. This is looking threatening. And delivered into the box. And they couldn't quite muster a real threat. Kylian Mbappe. And France finding space on the flank. Good bit of pressing. And the referee blows the whistle. It is a free kick. Alvarez and a shot from some way out determined block this looks interesting well not troubling the goalkeeper at all there and from that sort of distance you should be troubling the goalkeeper technique let him down there
Radio. Now options are plenty. Kylian Mbappe. And the keeper more than equal to it. Well, opting for the short corner. They've got it now, what can they do? Putting his body on the line. And the electronic board delivers the news. Two minutes of stoppage time. The referee spotted the infringement and it will be a free kick in a position of genuine menace. That is that for the first half here. And still danger here. So the ball is rolling again. France trailing after the first half. Can they find an effective response here in the second? Oh, a goal it is! The equaliser in this final. What next in the drama? Well, just look at this again. What was he thinking? Too slow, too ponderous, and it's cost them a goal here. Goal. So the ball is rolling again at one all. Number 11, Usman Dembele. And he stopped them in their tracks. Mbappe, Rabio. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. Now, counter-attacking possibilities here. Well, that break looked so promising, but nothing coming from it. Olivier Giroud. Mbappe with it. Well, he went strongly into the challenge, and the result is a throw-in. He successfully got past him and threading it forward well the keeper has outdone himself wonderful save so a personnel change then who can they pick out Able to deal with the threat. Rabio. No way through. Di Maria. And the counter looks on here. Options available. Making sure nothing untoward happened. Radio. And he read it well. 
And a clear foul, but the referee letting the play flow. And support available. And it's the vision of Griezmann coming to the fore. That is not going to do. Well wide of the target. So making the substitution now. Di Maria what can they do from here a fine reading of the situation just the clearance that was called for Martinez the high press was very much on Rodrigo de Paul. Well, he's bound to be disappointed with himself. Not a great effort, Stuart. Well, the less said about that, the better. Not a good decision from him. Substitution then. Let's see how it affects the match. Now can they counter clinically? Giving it a try. Oh, that's a fine save. And short it is. Firing it towards goal. Well, goal kick, just as it was looking promising. This looks more than decent. Lionel Messi in the middle. Well, no damage done. Still pushing for a winner. Making sure nothing came of it. Di Maria. Martinez. And there's the feed into the box. Oh, a goal! And how important can that be? Maybe it's a story of one hand on the trophy at this stage of the final. A huge moment. Well, here's the replay. Watch how he goes past his man with such ease. And it's just a change of pace. And then what a great finish as well. Good connection with the ball, leaving the keeper with little chance. It's a great goal. A big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? And that pass could be troublesome. And a good looking ball. In it goes! And surely that's the end of the story. They cannot throw us away from here.
Well, here it is again. The ball over the top is an absolute beauty, but I think the keeper has made a mistake here. While it's a decent finish, it should go in at that near post. scoreline here very quick thinking there and the referee has deemed that an additional four minutes are in order oh managing to beat him and crossed in there and both hands on it good goalkeeping There to win it back. Mbappe. He's going forward well here. And the cross from Mbappe. And there goes the final whistle. For the third time in history, Argentina have won the World Cup. And I have to say, Derek, they've been the best team in the tournament. There's no doubt about that. Argentina, world champions. They did it in 1978 and 1986. They've done it again in 2022, Stuart. Well, this is the pinnacle of any footballer's career. And what a night it's been for these players and the coaching staff and, of course, the fans.